Yo, what's going on? It's your boy King J, and today I'm going to teach you how to get good with Streamlabs desktop. Now, the thing is, everyone wants to stream and everyone wants to get good at streaming, but you know, there's some stuff out there, but this is going to be me teaching you from all the years of me streaming. I've been streaming from like 2014 to now, so I definitely know how to navigate through certain things. So this is gonna be the video for you. So make sure you watch throughout the whole length of it so you lot understand everything. Let's get into it. So first things first, obviously you gotta download it, and then you have a bunch of options here. So I'm gonna make sure that I keep my webcam out of the way so we're gonna put it uh we'll put it here i feel like this is the best place to use all right so as you can see with streamlabs desktop i have a bunch of things so you have mixer which is like your sound options so you like your desktop your mic and stuff like that as well you also have sources so this is where you can kind of like obtain what sources you want to put in there so just to show you you have your alert box event list image color source browser browser source image slide text display capture all of these things are all here for you and then you have everything else here you have general so you can do all the general ones and then you have the widgets so it kind of separates it, so it makes it a little bit more easier for you so we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna go and see what the video capture source is let's see so you can put video capture and then it then uh, it then shows you like what other things you have here so i'm gonna put my camera here so we go down it's got this resolution. It says device default. You can do it custom. Uh, we'll go for 920 by 1080. Put me in a box. FPS and all that stuff. You can sort out yourself. And then it will be cool. So here I am. You get to see me here. And then now I'm going to take me off. If you want to add text, you can add text here. Um, alert box and stuff. That If you have Streamlabs, uh, stream labels, then you could kind of assign everything like your live alerts people that follow subscribe uh donations stuff like that you can have that pop up uh by using browser or using this and there's other little things as well like text if you wanted to add text to it i don't know um let's say you wanted to add us let's say king j rules okay cool whatever and then uh you could change the font family and if you have a bunch of fonts you could use them Bebos, Bebos Kai, could use that here. There we go. Could make it bigger. Could do what you want. It's entirely up to you what you want to do, right? Shows you how where is where you're placing it on your this on your uh, overlay. On here you have your mini feed as well. So your mini feed is who follows you and stuff like that as well, which I think is good. But not only that, you have a bunch of other options. So you have a dashboard here. You also have access to CloudBot layout editor. So this goes to show you like how you would want your stuff. So you can change your layout to exactly what you want. So say for example, if I wanted it like this, let's go, let me show you. It will be like this, right? You could then go back again. So we're gonna go back into it. And say for example, if you wanted it to be like this, the way how it was before, you can go back to it or have it like this. So this is what it'll show live and this will be the edit. So I can be editing things like here, you know, and if I'm happy with it, then I can go ahead, you know, and this is to show transitions and stuff like that as well. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So moving on from this, so we're going to change it back. I'd, my one, my personal one was this. This one's the easy. Yeah, sorry. So this part is basically studio mode. So studio mode, again, is like basically when you edit it before it's live. So I, if I move this here, I take it off and it moves over there. So it's basically the edit before you showcase it. Sometimes when you're streaming, you might want to put something there, but you don't, you want to position it before you show it to the stream. That is what studio mode is there for. Right now, moving on, you have highlighter. So this is basically, this is something that is really good. You got to configure your replay buffer. So this is really good for tournaments. Um, very, 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 very key for tournaments. Definitely something that you want to look into. Um, there is an introduction video for that. You also have access to other things as well. Streamlabs desktop. And then you have this part here, which, ah oh man, this has a bunch of things. But the one I want to show you is the themes. 
so you can get access to custom themes that you can use on your stream so i checked out one of them already but i'm going to try and do another one so all it does is it installs the theme and you get to use it you can customize it as well so look i'm going to install this theme all right cool so this is my theme now if i change you can have it you can have it like this right if there's anything you wanted to change look it's got the social media and stuff like that so if you want to change the social media you can change the text this i'm going to name it to king j so change it to yeah and then it will change like that that's how you change the text and stuff on here right so to be fair there was better overlays i'm going to show you some more so the better overlay is this one here this one's really cool uh the transitions and stuff is just amazing so i'm going to show you it so if i want to go to start scene it does that if i wanted to go to intermission it does that if i go to ending stream or ending scene should i say it does that chatting scene here we go just waiting for the game to capture and then this is offline so let's say for example now i've got this scene here and okay i want to add my camera right because this is where this is where it gets fun so i wanted to add my camera so what i'll do is i'll go add to source or add source i would then look for double click this is where we'll put it okay so here it is here and then you'll want to resize it for the box Oh, I just done it for me. <laughs> yeah, you just resize it to the box and look. Crazy, right? You don't even need the two cams to look. If I was like, all right, I don't want that cam there. So simple, so easy, so straightforward, you know? And then, it, you know, for the other scenes as well, say, for example, if there's a live scene, you know, oh, my webcam is there. Crazy, right? And it's already configured all my other stuff. So, like, you see, like, my latest follower, my latest like all of that stuff is all configured already i've even troubled it like, that's how great streamlabs is it's done everything for me and my latest sub my latest follower all of these things if you want to customize things you can customize them with these uh overlays but these are just mainly for people that don't really know how to stream they don't know how to do these things you, you have to go into these type of settings when you're ready you can click live or you can click start recording that's how you work it and then obviously you've got other settings in here so like for example i don't know if you lot know but you can stream to directly to twitch facebook trovo or youtube if there's anything else you can add to the destination obviously output 6000 you can muck around with the sends here full customizable when it comes to the like the desktop audio and stuff like that mic you got video as well so you can change if you want to do i would say 920 by 1080 depending on your pc because i've got a, a 38 3090 graphics card so mine is pretty cool i would probably even put it to you know obviously my monitor here is uh, a 2k monitor but if i had a 4k monitor i'd put it to 4k all right so we're now going to get into these nifty features from streamlabs desktop so first things first we have the selective recording so imagine actually being able to stream with all your overlays and stuff coming up and then having just the raw footage being filmed sounds sick right so you can do that with streamlabs desktop so now as you can see here it says toggle selective uh recording so as you can see you've got an icon where it showcases only visible on stream only visible recording and visible both on stream and recording so you know you might want to have your you might want to have the cam for both and then everything else like you know say for example if there's an alert box only have that for stream and you know so forth so it's entirely up to you and this makes sure that you can be able to have a clear footage for editing you, I don't know, maybe you want to highlight segment where you don't want no one's alerts to be coming through. I've had that happen to me so many times before and I feel like this is where that feature comes into play. So that is selective recording and I think it's such a great feature. If we talk about replay buffer now, replay buffer is a very great feature. So if you go to the cog here and you go to, yeah, if you go to output and then go to replay buffer, you click enable replay buffer and then use stream output yeah so as you can see this is, a, this is where it is 
and then you know you could go into general and click automatically start replay buffer when streaming so what this does is when your stream starts you will be buffering the last 20 seconds of what is happening on your stream so you can replay it so for example if there's a tournament and something amazing happens the last 20 seconds it will capture and it will showcase you and be like oh look this is what happened uh i think it's so amazing because most of the time i was wondering why could you not do this in tournaments but yeah you could do it from here and then you can start replay buffer from now say for example i've got this here and it's like oh my goodness this guy done something sick i could just click this and save it the last 20 seconds and then i could showcase it on stream once i'm done and be like yeah here's the video this is what happened so yeah you could also do it on stream deck as well by a click of a button and also remember to add your instant replay so i have my one here so we're going to remove it and we're going to we're going to start the process again and i'm going to show you how it works so you click sources and then you go to instant replay click instant replay add to source you can add it as that and you can maybe change the way how the speed is of when you replay the instant replay if you want to put it to 30 seconds stuff like that you could definitely do that and we start playback when source becomes active you can send tally up to you if you want to do that some people don't want to do it straight away tally up to you you can mess around with these settings and then you click done and there you go you have instant replay and you can now have it for both stream and recording if you, if you want to or only visible on stream have a look at that one now. Jeez. i love this replay buffer though i'm not gonna lie this replay buffer thing is actually quite sick This replay buffer is actually quite sick. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I really like it. I don't know how that missed. All right, so now that I'm on highlight, I can show you exactly what I mean. So these are the, the clips that I highlighted. So we don't want this one and this one. This was just a test, so we can remove this one. Remove this one. These are clips of good things that happen. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it have 90s effect. And then we wanna, we're gonna go, let me see preview. So it's going to render a preview, like a low quality preview version. It's ever since I put my new monitors on, to be fair. Yeah, cool. That was all right. It was... It's got that kind of audio transition as well. That's pretty sick. Hmm. So yeah, the replay buffer was absolutely amazing. All I had to do was press this and start a replay buffer and sign a letter or a symbol on your keyboard as the hotkey. And then you're able to save the last 20 seconds of the replay buffer. And at the end of your stream, you're able to go to your highlighter and make a montage. Here's all the clips here. And then now I'm gonna export and create a video. So yeah, that is Streamlabs desktop, it's really cool. Also, on top of that, I just want to give you some quick tips. Output, 600, audio bit rate, 320. Make sure you know where you're recording your video files and make sure you keep it at MP4 because MP4 is the most trustworthy when it comes to video editing. It's compressed, but most programs recognize it easy without any problems. Maximum replay time is entirely up to you lot, what, what you want to do. But make sure this is toggled and make sure this is this is pressed and that's pressed and then yeah you should be good to go so that's been the video of me talking about the Streamlabs desktop i hope you don't enjoy this video anyone that's trying to learn how to stream please do not hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section down below so i can help you lot out i want to see more streamers streaming their favorite games or even just chatting you know we're gonna go into Streamlabs mobile and i'm gonna help you set that up as well shout out to the people at logitech i appreciate you lot for allowing me to do this video we're gonna be on to the next one